Yes, um, who are vipers. Like I said, the goals are coming in thick and fast. Three goals in the first half where we saw Karim Dugua chip a brilliant, potent finish over Fabian Mutombora, giving Bull the lead, but Vipers, I can tell you, with their brilliant squad, uh, a brilliant finish from Milton Carissa and Cromwell Rothromio with a potent finish. It is 2-1 at halftime at the St. Mary's Stadium in Chitende, looking like another win for Vipers, gentlemen. We spoke about it in the pre-match analysis where we said Vipers and Bull is going to be a tough encounter, but... We saw in the first few minutes where Vipers were actually struggling with their formation. Like we said, they played a 4-2-2-2, but we were asking questions whether playing without wingers would be detrimental to them, but it looks like it's working for them. Godwin? Yeah, as Vipers, the mm. coach Robertino has stated that this is a, a tough game and yeah. top mentality is needed. And that's why he adopted the system 4-2-2-2 yes. to ensure that he gets that link-up play in the midfield and then in the striking line, and it, and it has worked wonders for them. Mm. Uh, linking good play with Anokani and Milton Carissa together with Watambala. I was asking myself, where is Watambala going to play after seeing the lineup? Yeah. And then thinking of, of the way they can link up, that's when that system comes in, and you can see their fluidity in the way of play. Mm. And it has given Cromwell that, that advancement while going forward, and also making sure that he has the support of his fellow teammates. Yes. That's why you see even his, his, his managed to score a goal today. Mm. His first for Vipers, and he was uh, too, too joyous in celebrations because it has uh, removed the monkey off his back. Yes. But as part of the game, he's standing, Vipers are not yet into the game. But only some moments where they played well, and then got, got those two goals. But in the first half, Bull FC was playing so far so good yeah. uh, with Vincent Ziwa, the lead orchestrator, mm. scoring against Wachiso Jans and then KCC. I expected that him goal. to play a vital goal. And, Tendo. and mm. some, Tendo some laxity. This goal, <laughs> would, what, what would you say went wrong in this goal? Was it Fabian Montobora's positioning or was it Karim Dugua's uh, brilliant eyesight? Well, uh, for Karim Dugua, that is the instinct of a striker. Uh, the, the work of a striker is to know exactly how the defenders he's going to face and the goalkeepers uh, manage their game. Mm. Uh, for everyone who has watched uh, Vipers and Mutombora, uh, he has that antic of moving away from the goal line, trying to be like the sweeper. But when he's given back passes, he does not play. Actually, he has conceded, he has, his team has conceded many goals when he's trying to play with the defenders. Mm. So in this situation, it's a long ball from Saidi Kenny. We all know how Kenny hits the ball. Even when he's throwing, he throws it almost towards the center line. Mm. So his kick is very uh, huge. Yes. And it's just a flick header from Simbe mm. and into the space of Karim Ndugwa. Yes, Karim Ndugwa is a potent striker, but he's not that kind of striker who will race with the ball and beat a defender po for pace. Mm. That is why in his mind he knew that the first touch has to go somewhere. With the defender in pursuit, mm. there is no reason why uh, Mutombora would have been off the line. Yeah. But he didn't even get off the line. He was way off the line even before that move came. So you ask yourself, what does he do in that situation? Mm. So it is a mistake, a goalkeeping error. And, uh, that, from and, and can, I, can I talk about the defensive line there? Because mm. Bashir Asik was beaten to that header by Ibrahim Simbe, yes. brushing it. And then uh, Mukundani was yeah. caught off guard too because Karim Dugwa receiving that ball. He was all alone and taking that shot. Uh, Fabian Mutombora was at fault. The placement of, of himself yeah. was, was, was not at par. But then the two centre-backs didn't do the job well because if Bashir Asiku had defended that ball from being, being flicked to, to Karim Dugwa, it would have lessened the, the impact. But nevertheless, they have come back as Vipers, and leading 2-1. That, and that is another goalkeeping error? Yeah, yeah, very, very, very huge one again uh, yes. from Said Kenny. Mm. Uh, you, 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 sh you, you, you throw away a shot because that is throwing it away mm. into the path of Milton Carissa. Yeah. And that was not a vicious shot from Brighton Kenny. That is not the hardest hit that he could give. So he had the, the, the audacity to punch it away or even hold it strongly. Mm. And then when you get up and it's a rebound, you don't close the near post. Because it's easy in that situation to be scored on the far post. Yeah. A goalkeeper has to close the near post. So he was in between. Uh, the, he left the near post agape 
and the same way the far post. So that was suicidal goalkeeping as well. So you would look at those situations similar to the game we saw yesterday, two goalkeeping errors. But you see football is a game of mistakes. When you make those errors, the agile forwards will pounce. In the same way Karim Dugua pounced, again uh, here, Milton Carissa pounces. Uh, because he still has hope. Every time there is a ball going forward, mm. he expects an error anywhere. Mm. So I think that was good uh, forward instincts from a player who has been switched from, from the wing to now one of the two uh, forwards, which I think is a, is, is a guided uh, choice. Those two forwards can peel off at will yes. and play. When you are three in the forward line, the one in the middle is static. Then the ones at the wing do not have that good uh, freedom to come and close in. Mm. So you expect everything for the one in the middle, the, the one leading the access. So I think this one gives them good movement. Milton is very fast and is instinctive. Cromwell has been useful in all other things apart from scoring. But now with the freedom, you see the goal that he scored. He started the move from the left. He moves with it. He passes. Then he comes and waits for the free ball. And because the defenders have no one to mark, they stay there and keep him onside. Because if they had moved on the same line, he would have been offside. Because he's the one who started the move. That, but they stayed there. Is, is that, is that uh, the formation that uh, Robertinho has gone with today? Is it uh, an advantage to the players he has put on his disposal playing that certain type of formation? We have seen Bright Anukani being an orchestrator in the midfield. He's having a good game today, Godwin. Having that freedom to, to play those through balls and having the link-up play with Rothromio Roth and, and Milton Carissa today. And definitely. He's playing at the strength of the players that he has at, at his disposal. Mm. That's why you see him fielding uh, four midfielders and then one, one attacker. But it has been fluent mm. for them going forward and also defending. If Siraji Sentamu and Marvin Youngman have that cover yeah. of, of Karim Watambala and then Bright Anukani, it helps them defensively because Bright Anukani can slide to the right, defend when there's an attack from the right. And then Karim Watambala can slide as a, as a number 11, traditional number 11, when the attack is on his side. Mm. And then th those two center forwards also can do that, that, that same job. But as, it's, as, the, as that system, it has really helped them mm. combat the midfield of, of Bull because Bull have George Kasonko as a center, central defensive midfielder, and also Ibrahim Chiria, Jerome Chiria, and also uh, the center forward, Vincent Ziwa, taking them forward. If you have those nullified, it's hard for them to go forward. Mm. It's only the goal that, that they've considered as Vipers, which, which came from a moment, a ball from Saidi Kenny, brushed by Nsimbe, and then just kicked home to by, by Karim uh, Dugua, yeah. which, wa which was a good goal. Yeah. But so far, the game is still open. I expect goals in the second half. Yeah, Tendo. Yeah. Yeah, it is so easy to score goals in this formation mm. uh, if, if you do the unorthodox way, like we saw Saeed Kenny doing it. Why? Mm. Because the, the, the two forwards and the two offensive midfielders yeah. and the two defensive midfielders all look at the line that is perpendicular to the pitch. Yes. So in the middle is a, a way through where the ball can pass always. Mm. You get my point? Yeah. That is why the goal kick for the goalkeeper is not going to the sides. Like Bule is saying, there is someone covering the sides. So you cannot have it directed there. So it has to come in the middle. Mm. Now, one of the forwards of Bull has to wait in the axis and come and flick the ball into the direction of the, the next. So if it's Karim Dugwa, he comes into the axis because the ball comes and then he has to flick it either one side or this way. Mm. So that is the, 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 the antidote for Bull. But for them, their game has not been that way. Yeah. They have always played, started the ball from the wings. That is where now the Brazilian has beaten them. Mm. With Cromwell on one side and Kalisa on one, he's handling the, the three back, back line. Mm. The one in the middle is useless, but again, he's not that back defender who will move and play football. So he's useless, he's wasted there. So with Cromwell holding them, Cromwell has the chance to even come and chase the full back. Or the ones now that are playing the wing back. Chiria on, the, on this side, uh, on Ek, and then uh, Madoi if he chooses to come, or Aprem. So Carissa can do that, and we see him doing that. Even Cromwell was doing that. Yes. So if he fails, either Watambara or Anukani take over that duty. So if they choose to pass, then they spread like the way Bule is saying. Watambara will spread to catch the nearest person they are passing to. And the same way Anukani can spread. Mm -hmm. But in the middle, they have not left a gap because there is young man 
and and and, and Siraj sent him. Yeah. So if someone is playing through the axis, young man can come and, and pick him. Or if they, they, are, they are going to mark, they stay. Then the back line stays. So the free role for Vipers today is with the, the full backs. Ashraf Mandela and uh, Mubiru. So, uh, we, I, that I, is I, why you see them yeah. flying all the way. I because... spoke about it, I spoke <laughs> about it uh, when the match was going on. Mm -hmm. I noticed something. Because uh, Bull FC are playing with wing backs and Vipers are not playing with wingers in mm -hmm. this game, the wing backs of Bull are having to mark the two attacking midfielders who are playing on the inside, which yeah. is giving space to the Vipers fullbacks. Yes. Is that going to be a problem for Alexis Savia in the second half? Is there something that he needs to twitch uh, Godwin? According to the way Alexis Savia plays and yeah. the system that he usually uses, that's his most favorable system. Mm. If he chooses to look at the way Vipers play yeah. and then change according to how Vipers play, mm. it will be a disadvantage to him. But only sticking to the system that you, you know best and the chemistry that happens with the ball players, you cannot, right now, changing a system, it can, it can be effective. Maybe it's not changing a system, but yeah. changing the way they play. I think he can, can change the personnel. Be, can be because effective. Um, Previously, yes, yeah. let's go they have the, been, yeah, yeah, yeah continue. Go go uh, it, can be, it, it can be effective yeah. uh, for players, but the way they play, they know they know the system. From last season, it won against Vipers, it won many games. Changing it right now because Vipers has adopted a 4 4, two, four two, two, mm. maybe a, det a detrimental factor to them. Mm. So, sticking to it, just those players, as Tendo was going to hint about it, sticking to those players. If all fails, you have some substitutes on the bench. Mm. To make it click, you have Wandiaka, you have Kalanda, you have Kazindula, who can bring in those crosses. I don't see any, any, any system that uh, Bull can change, uh, apart from this system. That's why I can't Actually, change. now, to, 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 to yeah. kill mm. the Vipers philosophy today of having the fullbacks fly, mm. you need to bring ball-playing wingers. Uh, Onek is not a ball player. Aprem tries, but he's more used to crossing than playing with the ball yes. because it's not his favorite foot on the left. Mm. So I think bringing in Ivan Wani on the left and then Kazindula, who we have seen playing is a, even as a fullback mm. or even as a wingback because he plays with the ball. Mm. It will kill now Viper's philosophy of going forward because the fullbacks will have to mark someone. Yeah. Remember, if someone uses the ball, you have to mark them. Mm. So as, as one is trying to use the ball, uh, Mandela's thoughts of going forward will, will be dying. Which means these midfielders now will also be useless. Mm. You get my point? Yes. Of recent, Ziwa is the one who has been playing with the ball and is in the middle. Which is okay because it's a pathway. But the challenge is being with the forwards marked in the direct play. There is no way Ziwa is going to pass the ball. Yes. And he's not that midfielder who will run and shoot. Yes. So he, he's also wasted. So I think altering the play and centering it on, 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 on the people in the wings like Kazindula and Wani is going to kill Viper's movement mm. and have them decimated up front. With them decimated, they will think about now changing a system, mm. which I, I think they will have to put uh, either uh, 